I'm here to talk to you today about how to prepare my house for sale. We're not going to talk about decluttering. We're not going to talk about um, touch-up painting or street appeal or uh, gardens. We're not going to talk about any of that. We've had two vendors who've been under huge amount of stress because they thought that things were council approved. There is one piece of preparation that many of us don't do, and that's because it hasn't been necessary until just recently. Today's buyers are very savvy. Today's buyers want everything to be legal. When I bought my first house, none of this existed, but today the market is different. There's more information out there. So, what happened? What can you do to prepare yourself so that you've got all your I's dotted and your T's crossed? Recently, we've had two contracts that were in danger of crashing. In those contracts, we had a clause that says that the contract was subject to council searches. When we inserted those contracts on the buyer's request, the vendors had no objections because they were under the impression that everything was council approved. They had employed qualified builders to do their deck and their carport and the swimming pool had been there for 35 years. So they felt safe. Everything was council approved. The buyer solicitor conducted the searches. The deck came back approved and certified. The carport came back approved and certified. The swimming pool came back that the approvals were submitted to council. However, the final certification wasn't done. How can that be, you ask? Simply, the plans were put in. The person who was contracted to do the pools did all the work, but yet forgot to put in the last piece of paper into the council, the last form, to get it certified. What does that mean? It means the council comes back on site and makes sure that the structure that's been approved to be built has been built to the specifications that it was approved by council. That final certification is very, very important, but it's something that many homeowners take for granted because they employ a professional to do this on their behalf and they assume that it's all done. However, there's been many, many cases, not only this one recently, with the swimming pool that wasn't certified, but also there's been ones of decks that haven't had their final certification. So something that you can do to get yourself ready and make sure that you don't have too much stress right at the pointy end of the sale is make sure that all your certifications are in place. How do you do that? You go to the Brisbane City Council or to the Morton Shire Council or whichever council you're in place and you do some searches. Yes, they cost money. I've recently done a search on a deck for a client, it was about $120. But it's a great investment in the future sale of your home. Because when the buyers find out that the final certification hasn't happened, two things can happen. One, they can pull out of the sale altogether and you could lose thousands and thousands of dollars. Two, they can ask for a reduction and that reduction can be anything from $10,000 up because to get a final certification is an unknown cost. So my tip to you today, when you're getting your house ready for sale, make sure that you've got your I's dotted and your T's crossed. Be a little bit proactive. Do all the council searches yourself and then you know you're safe. If you'd like to know some more information, just give me a call. My name is Madeline.